So what do you need to make live electronic music? Let's start with the DJ mixer. This is the DJM 900 Nexus and it's got four channels of audio, effects, filters, and EQs. This is basically what I use to input all the audio sources from what you're about to see into. This is the Oxy One sequencer. It sends out all the note data to the instruments. There's no audio coming from this one. So the sequencer sends the note data to the instruments I'm about to show you, and then the instruments send the audio to the mixer. Now the four different types of instruments I'll be pairing it with is a drum machine, a monophonic synthesizer, a polyphonic synthesizer, and a sampler. For the sampler, I'm using an SP404 Mark II, a TR09 for the drum machine, for the mono synth, a Behringer TD3, and the poly synth is the JU06A. I'll also hook up a MIDI keyboard to play notes. Okay, so those are the instruments. Let's plug them in and power them up. Next, we'll route all the MIDI and CV connections so that everything's synced together. First, let's plug a cable into the MIDI output of the sequencer. And this is a standard auxiliary cable. It's able to transmit MIDI. The other end of that cable will go into the oxy split, and that's essentially a MIDI hub. Next, plug another cable into the output of split and then plug the end of that cable into the input of your device. In this case, it's the SP404 Mark II, which is the sampler. And this is what I'll use for vocal samples. So currently Oxy One Sequencer is plugged into Split and that is plugged into the SP404 Mark II. Now we're gonna connect the drum machine and synthesizers. We're gonna send a standard MIDI cable from the output of Split to the MIDI input of the TR09 drum machine. Next, I'll plug another MIDI cable into the output of the drum machine, and on the TR09, the MIDI output also acts as a MIDI through. So send the through signal to the JU06A MIDI input. Now let's plug this MIDI keyboard into the sequencer. This way I can record what I play on the piano. To do this, plug a MIDI cable into the MIDI output of your MIDI keyboard. Now plug the other end of that MIDI cable into the MIDI input of the sequencer. I'll be using the onboard sequencer of the TD3, so I'll plug in the trigger output from the TR09 into the sync input of the TD3. So now everything will be synced together and sending notes. But the next thing we need to do is route all the audio into the mixer. The TR09 will be channel 1, the TD3 will be channel 2, the JU06A will be channel 3, and the SP404 will be channel 4. Now plug the outputs of all your instruments into the inputs of the mixer in the channels you want them to be on. But 4 channels is the max I can use here. So basically you play notes on the MIDI keyboard that goes to the sequencer and then the sequencer sends the MIDI output to the split and then that syncs with everything else. And then all the audio from each instrument is going into the channel on the mixer. And here I have volume faders, effects, filters, and EQs. But you play it like an instrument. This is just one setup of many and I'll be showing you plenty of different ones in the future. When I press play on this sequencer, it'll cause the drum machine to start playing. There we go, it's playing. When I click record, now it will record that piano and it'll go to that synthesizer. And then that loops in the sequencer. So now let's add the sampler with a vocal. Let's layer in the 303 now. This time the sequence is being created directly on the synthesizer. And I don't know what it's gonna sound like, so let's click play. All right, that works. Now let's bring the lows back in on the mixer. You can adjust the sounds directly on the synthesizers, add effects or filters on the mixer, and a whole lot more. It's a lot of fun. You're basically creating a song live. Now let's turn on the arpeggiator and filter out the 303 a little bit before I cut it on the mixer. Now we're at the breakdown. I'm literally building out a song live on the spot. Let's bring back in the drums. And now we're back into it. And it's rockin'. How about we bring in the 303 again? Well, that's the basics of live electronic music. The live setup is going to constantly change and get better over time, so stay tuned. I'll let this melody play out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.